guys. Today we're headed to the hot springs resort town of Ghetto in the Japanese Alps. I'm waiting in a long line because dad screwed the pooch again. Uh, not getting these tickets before, so we're just getting them the day of. It's, there's no excuse for it. I always it preach so preparedness, man. It's okay. I screwed the pooch. <sighs> there is like line forever. For the old man, the crisis was avoided and we managed to get some tickets. So we're going to get after all. I guess that's what the old man said, so. You don't know. Could you use a rickshaw. Let's get on it. Hi. 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 Yeah, I see it. What I don't see is me being on the train on time. Well, I'm I'm staying staying out out I don't really care. Thank you. Uh, you think you're gonna push this one into that one? Or do you or do you think we're gonna back that one? <laughs> Ghetto is located about an hour south of the historic town of Takeyama. You can also get there from Nagoya. Arrived in Ghetto. And we're going on bus. Uh, our bus to uh, our our Rio car. Well, it's all unprofessional, really. It's stupid. We stayed at a ryokan, which is a traditional Japanese inn located in the foothills of Ghetto. Information about our ryokan is in the description. Awesome. Look at this. Not the garden. That's so cool. Ryokans are places where you can get away from it all, relax in natural hot spring baths called onsen, and enjoy wonderful cuisine. There's really nothing like it in Western culture. Hi. Oh, this place is super cool. Wow. What's for you? This here is amazing. But I guess that's just Japan. Look at that. You think and I can hear the here? trickle of the onsen over there, but she'll probably show up to us. I can't wait to take an onsen. The host just showed us to our room, but uh, didn't want to be filmed, so <laughs> we have the fresh hot towel. <laughs> a nice light green tea, and then a sweet of some kind. We have uh, this view. And I can hear the private onsen bath trickling, yeah. And then we got Sam, so let's go look at it. What? That's kicking. Oh, it's the outdoor. That's amazing. They're filling it up. But that's awesome. I'm going for it. Yeah, you know. Yes. No. Changing into a yukata is a must after arriving. Absolutely stunning, right? Most ryokan stays include a kaiseki meal in your room. Kaiseki is basically a multi-course dinner made with fresh seasonal ingredients that are beautifully presented. It's down here we go. There's a the focus. So wait, what's is this the fr the fish? Those are mushrooms. Mushrooms, and then that's the shrimp. That's fish, shrimp. The fish is the brown. Oh, that's fish. Guy okay. there. I was like, what the and um, edamame fruit with a little looks like hita beef or something, and then tofu, apple juice. Looks awesome. Really fishy. It's, it's fairly fishy, but it's good. It's got scales on it. it might freak you out texture-wise, but just get brave. I'm getting good. I 
can't believe it, Sam's actually trying some stuff. Oh, it tastes like fish. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sure? No. <laughs> this guy, I don't even know where to put it. Inside and outside. It's like opening a Christmas present. Yeah. Looks like we got. He has some sushi that's tamago. I love tamago. I was way out of my comfort zone for this dinner, but the food truly was delicious. Now this is going to take Sam That's, deeply I don't know if out of his comfort cards. zone. That one is in the cards. You're going to at least try. I don't know. You have to at least try it. I'll try it. There's no guarantee on the fish. And then it. let's see what else. Vegetable matter. Salmon and vegetables. That looks delicious. Oh, I forget salmon. what sauce she said that was in, but uh, you mm -hmm. ready to try this, Sam? <sighs> yeah, you are. I can tell. Beautiful. Shabu shabu. And they had heat of beef. Beautiful heat of beef. It's so good. Now that's familiar. Yummy, yeah, right? Mm hmm. Oh, tastes like victory. We got rice, mushrooms, and whatever this is, like pickled. Now, both of these are called skimono. Oh, I don't know what this is. Which is pickled vegetables, so there's radish and um, pumpkin, mazatake mushrooms. And uh, I love skimono, the pickled vegetables. Vegetables are not that strong, so. Stupid. <laughs> it's like black jelly. Black honey jelly, right? Honey jelly, yeah. With then some seasonal fruit. Get all of it. Truly, I, I'm not exaggerating. That is one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten really? in my life. Yes. I, I just don't even know how to describe it other than one of the most delicious things I've ever had. Like the first time I had in and out probably blowing my bigger than this one. <laughs> <laughs> when you discover the secret menu, it's a special feeling. There was a lot of good food, but I had to step out, asked to, had to step out of my comfort zone a little bit, which wasn't that fun. But once I did, the food was really good, so. I just felt kind of bad eating that fish, but it looked at me <laughs> as I tore out his insides. <laughs> Finishing the day with a hot onsen bath was perfection. Yeah, I'm super tired. You wanna talk onsen. about the onsen that you just took? It really relaxed me. It was awesome. We'll uh, have some more onsen footage tomorrow. Everyone wants to see me naked, so. Stupid. <sighs> talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you. Most onsen are large public baths separated by gender. Like all things Japanese, there are strict rules of etiquette. You must scrub yourself shimmering clean before entering the onsen bath. No swimwear is allowed, only your birthday suit. There's no splashing or swimming, and you shouldn't drop anything in the water, such as your towel. Also, at most onsen, they will not allow you to enter if you have any tattoos. In Japan, tattoos are still associated with the Yakuza and criminals. Historically, the Yakuza liked to gather at bathhouses. It's difficult to conceal any weapons when everyone's naked, and it gave them a chance to show off their tattoos. Bathhouses began to ban anyone with tattoos, and that practice survives today. 
In fact, the old man is a victim of the 90s and has an ankle tattoo. He tried to enter the outdoor public onsen and was turned away like a loser. If you have tattoos, check in advance about tattoo policies, and you can always book a room with a private bath like we did. Traditional Japanese breakfast was also included in our ryokan stay, and it was delicious. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Really, really good. It's like sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like candy. It's like candy, but miso. It looked like more art than it was food. But I guess that's just your In a good way? Yeah, in a good way. Do it. Four? Four? four. Sorry, pulled home. Wait, 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 You've been watching way too much YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. Just finished our breakfast here. It was an amazing stay at this Ryokan. Um, this morning I got to go to the outdoor public onsen, and that was an amazing experience. And then they had a, an amazing breakfast that we got to eat. Fortunately, um, we're gonna pack up and move on to Osaka. Fortunately or unfortunately? Unfortunately. Oh. I like this place. Yeah, this place but is But awesome. Osaka is exciting yeah. too. Yeah. I'm so excited for it. Pokemon Center, part two.